Hey, good morning. This is Coach Michael Burt. It's Saturday morning, and what a beautiful day here in Tennessee. So I just went for a bike ride, and the purpose of this video this morning is to help you make a decision about why you would need a coach in your life and, and how to choose a coach. There are 700,000 people in the United States that call themselves a coach. Okay, the, the average mean income of those coaches is less than $47,000 per year. And that's important, so just remember that. And this has become a commoditized term, right? I'm a coach. And so in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna break down why I think you should choose a coach or, or how to choose a coach and what the coach should do for you and how they should help you achieve some kind of new result reactivate your drive, uh, give you a methodology, show you a tactic and strategy that can help you. So I'm going to kind of walk through my journey of coaching, of finding coaches in my life. Then hopefully this will help give you some clarity because if you're out there and you're thinking about hiring a coach and you're like, well, this coach helped me. Should I, should I invest the money? What is expected? How does it work? Hopefully this video will help you. You know, I grew up with coaches in my whole life. I was a, uh, my mom used to take me down to the local baseball field. I started playing baseball as early as, I don't know, five or six years old. And, it, and I observed how coaches brought structure to people and motivated people and pushed people to achieve more than they could on their own. I saw how coaches helped people reach their potential. So early on in my life, I was immediately fascinated by this process of a person coming into your life that had a strategy, they had a care, they had a, a, a motivational tool, they, they could basically help you get more out of yourself than you could get out of yourself. So early on, I had great coaches, some bad coaches, but for the most part, those coaches pushed me, which is what... Uh, one aspect and element of what a good coach should do. And I came from the athletic world. I mean, nobody wants to run sprints. Nobody wants to go to the weight room. Nobody wants to do those things, but what they want is some kind of result. It's like me at F45. I don't want to do the workout, but the workout gets me a result in my body that I feel I feel good about. So, So one aspect of picking a coach is does the coach activate your prey drive? that instinct in you to pursue your potential. And what I witnessed early on in my life is that good coaches kind of take you to a place that you didn't even know you could go to. They, they, they create a tension in your life. They push, they, they help you go beyond your current limitations, right? And they do that by pushing and challenging and creating that tension between where you are and where you're trying to go. So if you've got a coach that doesn't do that for you, like, like when you're around that coach, they don't, they don't inspire you to want to do anything bigger, then that's probably not the right coach for you. To me, the primary thing I'm doing for people right now is activating a prey drive in those people to pursue their deepest human potential, to chase the dream, to go bigger, to expand and not contract, to play a bigger game to really become what they're capable of becoming. And every week I get, uh, man, I get emails and Facebook messages and Instagram that coach, you inspired me to write the book of my life. You inspired me to take my business bigger. You inspired me to take these dreams and manifest them into reality. You inspired me to take an action that I was afraid to take, right? That's the purpose, that's one purpose of a coach. But the other purpose of a coach, in my opinion, is to bring the methodology and the tactic and the strategy to take the intention and create it. So let me give you an example. Over the past two days, I've been at my lodge coaching people in how to write books. But it's not just writing books because we have a publishing division that can write the book for you. What I've really been coaching people on is a methodology and monetization of a concept, okay? And that's a unique skill set that I have. So anybody can teach you how to write a book, 
but very few people can teach you how to take a book and turn it into a million dollars. How to take a book and turn it into $3 million. How to take a book and turn it into 3,000 leads. That is a methodology. And so it's one thing to get you excited to write the book. And that's part of it. To give you the courage to write the book. It's another thing to say, th this is the exact steps that you need to take to leave this session with me and do your first webinar series of which you can produce 20 or 30 or 40 or $50,000. And that is where most coaches are missing in my opinion. We had, a, we had a woman that came to my boot camp and she said, I invested $125,000 in my personal development last year. And these two days with you coach have been way more valuable because of how practical and tactical you are. And, and all I can give you is what I've personally done myself. So to me, when you're looking at a coach, here's what I wanna know. What has that coach done? What demonstrated capacity do they have? What proof do you know that they've actually done what they're telling you to do, right? Do they, have they done it themselves? Because if they haven't done it, then they can't teach you how to do it. What I teach is what I've personally done. Okay, so when you're picking a coach, it's one of these things that you want a coach that's like motivating and activating your drive. And when you're with that coach, they make you feel like, man, I can do anything. I can play at a higher frequency. But you also want this coach to give you the real methodology. Like, how do I do it? I, I know I want to do it, but how do I do it? So it goes back to my championship days as a basketball coach. We never went into the game without a methodology. I studied, I learned under people, I watched, I cultivated a philosophy, I put it into a game plan, we executed it, and ultimately we won. In business, I dissect large amounts of content, I deconstruct that content, I practice the content, and then I say, then I, then I say this is what works for me. So when you're choosing a coach, the reason so many people have a bad experience with a coach it's really for two reasons. One, they don't take responsibility as the learner to do what the coach is telling them to do. And this is a real problem. Meaning I pay a coach, the coach shows me a methodology. He gives it to me every week. He says, this is how you gotta do it. I don't show up to get the methodology. I don't do what he says or she says. And then I say it doesn't work, okay? And that happens a lot. And that's not the coach's fault, by the way, that's the learner's fault. Because when I pay for something, I go get it and I extract it and I get my money's worth by showing up. Now, the second problem that I see is you, you don't immerse yourself deep enough into the methodology to really understand it. If it seems hard, you don't want to do it. If it seems complicated, you don't want to do it. So you just want to pay other people to do it, which is fine, but you can never really grow and get better if you don't know how to do it. Like, you know, when it comes to uh, webinars or funnels or whatever the case may be, I may not want to create certain things, but I do understand how it works and to do it appropriately. So when you're thinking about a coach, I guess the, the purpose of my video here is to really encourage you to step back and go, this, this coach activates my prey drive. There's something about, I have an affinity with his or her style. I believe that they're authentic and real. I believe they wanna help people. I have a good feeling about them. And, and that's why I'm attracted to them. They activate my drive to go do something bigger and pursue something. And I need that. I need the courage, I need the confidence, I need the push, I need the challenge, I need the intensity. And I feel like this coach has a true methodology okay I have a methodology for growing a business that's the monster growth system I have a methodology for uh, writing a book I have a methodology for uh, activating the prey drive in a person uh, I have a methodology for follow-up these are these are methods that I've created over the last X number of years to to just understand the science of, of how it works so I hope this video helps you. A good coach can change your life. I believe a good coach can take you to places you didn't know you wanted to go to. And, and I'll close with this. I believe a good coach helps you find 
and fill your missing structures. Now, the, the, the additional thing that I think I provide for people are what I call structures of exchange, which are these environments for you to get around other like-minded people on a consistent basis, whether it be the lodge, whether it be the Greatness Factory of Nashville, whether it be uh, in Florida, where for you to exchange time, energy, ambition, drive. So you've got the activation of your prey drive. You've got the, the methodology that has proven to be successful. And you've got a structure of exchange to be around other like-minded people who want to grow, by the way. You know, people that come to my events are, are not people that that are static. They are big time people. They're doing big time things. And you are around and exchanging with those people and providing you a structure of exchange. And that's something I talk about in the book, Single Digit Millionaire. And really a, a key component of being a person of interest, just to be honest with you, is you're doing big things in the world. Therefore, you wanna be around other people that are doing big things in the world. So that's why you choose a coach, folks. So if you're looking at choosing a coach, just look through those filter, whether it be me or somebody else. There's a lot of great coaches in the world. And unfortunately, there's a lot of bad coaches in the world. And it's because they don't know how to activate the prey drive. They really don't have a methodology. And they have not created these very strong networks of, of, of exchange because they're not attracting big time people because they're not doing big time things. So let's go back in the end to the beginning. 700,000 people call themselves a coach in the United States. I was a real coach. I started at 15 years old. I was coaching basketball and understanding the psychology of inner engineering a person to win from 15 to 31, from 31 to 44. All I've been doing is coaching some of the top business people in the world through a unique methodology. And when you put that all together, that's 28 years of doing it with a demonstrated capacity of winning and producing. So that would be my argument for why you need to let me be your coach. But there's a lot of good coaches. But do your homework, slow down, pick somebody who can help you, and pick somebody who has a demonstrated capacity of doing it themselves. You guys have a great day. I'm Coach Michael Burt. I hope this helps. Everybody needs a good coach in life, folks.